Mario. What's up, everyone? This is Rabbit Guinea Pig here, and holy crap! I've been trying to do this for days and days and days now, messing with settings. I made myself a bit of a makeshift microphone stand out of things lying around the house so no more like random thumping you'll you'll still hear like my controller but there ain't nothing i can do about that but uh messing around with settings in obs making sure you know the compressor the equalizer the limiter is all at an acceptable level and right now I think I finally got it. And I was going to do a different ROM hack, but I feel like right now... Right now it's time to blow off some steam, don't you think? <laughs> Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have been... If you don't know what Mario 64 mm -hmm. Shotgun Mario is... You gonna find out. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Mario with a shotgun. Nothing new as far as ROM hacks and fan games is concerned. But this one... This one goes the extra mile. This isn't just a ROM hack of Mario with a shotgun. This is a ROM hack of Mario with a shotgun. Where, like, almost every interactable object imaginable can somehow be shot or interacted with with the shotgun. And it makes the game pretty interesting and different. An aim mode. This. This right here. You get a nice third person camera to make it more like a third-person shooter. And I like that. Mm -hmm. You gotta use the uh, C buttons. And even if you have the C buttons set to, like, your right joystick, it's still, like, it's digital. It's not analog as far as the game is concerned, so... Aiming is not as accurate as maybe you'd want it, but... I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I don't... I don't think that's a pro... I killed Lagatu. I killed him before he could even interrupt. What's up, Toad? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Trapped inside the castle walls. Rooms on the first floor. And now, we do a level. And destroy the cannon. Just like that. Destroy those blocks. Get these coins. Kill the bomb bombs. Yes. You can destroy the bars. Yeah, well, that was dumb. But I mean, this is incredible. I love modding communities. I've been a huge fan of the Doom modding community for forever. Looks like the Mario 64 modding community has been catching up to that level of ridiculousness. Uh, it was Vine Sauce Vinny who said once, you know, as far as like Doom mods are concerned, you know, 
it's all the game you'll ever need. Like, technically, you could just have a copy of Doom 2, and you'll have all the game you'll ever need for the rest of your life because of the mods. And Mario 64 is very quickly becoming just like that. <laughs> yeah, If you know anything about guns at all, you know that, like, double barrels do not have, like, the pump on them. But whatever. This is a video game. It's not meant to be realistic. It's meant to be dumb and fun. Anyway, let's kill the big bomb off. I could. I could attempt to 100% this, and I might. I don't think I'll do that in this video, but I'll at the very least uh, try to get like the 70 stars and beat Bowser in this video. Uh, I was thinking about like what kind of videos I want my channel to be predominantly known for. And I started to think, you know what? Long form content seems to be doing pretty good these days. You know, a part of me doesn't really want to just do what everyone else is doing or do, you know, chase trends. Uh, please the algorithm and all that. One of my last videos, where I was ranting about RTX for a while, got the most views I've gotten in months, but also got the most criticism, and I took that criticism to heart. And so, I'm trying to find a balance between like what I want to do as someone making videos, and what people want to see. That's what I'm doing right now. And you know what? Shotgun Mario is like a clear win. Like, come on, it's Shotgun Mario. If this video doesn't get at least a few dozen views just from that alone... This is great because it actually combines like my two favorite genres of games, platformer and shooters. Sort of like the uh, Uncharted games or the uh, Tomb Raider reboot games that like sort of seamlessly combine shooting with platforming. I always like that about those. We're gonna do a slide. Uh, uh, camera, camera. All right. We actually want the Mario camera for this one, just because otherwise you're gonna be just. Fighting with the camera the whole time you're trying to slide. This seems to be one of the few situations where shotgunning is not is not useful in the slightest. It just goes to show that violence doesn't call doesn't fix every problem in the world, just most of them. <laughs> Mario has fucking had it, and I love that. Like, look, I've been into fan games for a long, long, long time. I've seen Mario with swords, guns, cannons, everything. Alright, we'll do this one real quick. Don't worry, little guy. We'll get to you. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to you, all right. But not yet.
just simply do the slide. You know. With a motherfucking double barrel shotgun. I really like that this this mod doesn't even bother to make you worry about ammo or anything like that. This mod knows what it is. It's dumb fun for the sake of dumb fun, and I am all for it. Aww, and Penguin is sad. She's sad. I love that. <laughs> Alright. Four penguins lost. And you know what I'm thinking, right? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this little penguin needs to go home. That's what I'm thinking. Poor guy. His mama's worried sick about it. Hey. Hey, 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 come here. Told you, violence doesn't solve every problem, just most of them. Like I said in my previous video, I've been on a Mario 64 kick, and I've been playing the absolute shit. Can I shoot while holding the penguin? Okay, we can get rid of... We can get rid of the snowman. That's good. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is... This is just easy mode. Like, pure and simple. This is easy mode. And the parallel launcher's uh, default controls work perfectly because it puts the L button, which is the shoot button, over here on the right button. The right shoulder button, which... It, that's not the left button, but whatever. Yes, I found your precious baby. He was very worried sick, and if it weren't for me, he would have stayed up there and froze to death. One more thing, your terrible mother! Be mad at me all you want. I'll call child services on you. How reckless, you know? Just absolutely reckless way to live your life, you know? Just mindless. There are children involved. Uh, Womp's Fortress. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm missing... While I'm still thinking about it. I need to get the other... Star from the slide. I love Mario 64. I don't know if I talked about this in the other video or not, but, you know. And I forgot who, what the name of it was. The name of the channel who made this, like, four-hour documentary on how, uh, invisible walls work in Mario 64. It's incredible. I watched the whole freaking thing. Not in one sitting, mind you, but I did watch it, and sort of kind of blew my mind. It's like looking into the Matrix, into the code of the Matrix. It's like my whole childhood was a lie. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Alright, Womp, I'm coming for you. Boom.
I do like how the uh, controls are the same, except Mario's facing wherever you're aiming. Makes sense. I don't know why I'm collecting these coins. I'm not going for the 100 coin stuff yet. Walker? We're just gonna... Boom! This is too much fun. I don't care. Boom! Boom! And King Babam said he was the king of kabooms. Yeah, yeah, make you so mad. Build your house, your castle, pay. You ever say, you ever say thank you? No. Just try and pound me. Okay, I'll give you a thank you, alright. Well, that worked out well. It's pretty clear. Boom! Eh. Yes. If you don't mind, I got a got a grape soda here. It's gonna be a while, so I might as well have something to drink. Yeah, I sort of feel like uh this video is going to be like the turning point of my channel. It might not get a ton of views, but I feel like it's the start of like where I actually want to go with this channel. And I'm still going to make like videos without commentary if I feel like the video needs it. Like I plan on doing more B3313 stuff and I feel like that game deserves, that mod deserves, like, your full, undivided attention. Like, you don't want to hear someone, there's already a billion videos of someone talking over that one. But, you know, when I make a video like that, I want it to be, like, nice and atmospheric. I want to be immersive. Not to say Shotgun Mario doesn't deserve immersion either. to get Bowser. It's time to get him. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot more uh, Mario 64. I also have a Minecraft project I'm working on. And I don't want to give away too much just yet. But, it's gonna be a long one. Like, I'm not the first person in the world to make, like, a long play of Minecraft. But, I do want to put my hat into the ring, you know? Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Well, that's terrifying. Huh. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying, ain't it? No, no. Oh, ooh, I'm all, I almost messed up there. Oh, I've got some fantastic bomb hacks too. The parallel launcher really makes it super easy to get these. And there are some fantastic ROM hacks. And the best part... The best part about Mario 64 ROM hacking, or, you know, ROM hacking in general for the most part, is, you know, emulating older games like this, you don't need a amazing PC. You don't need an RTX this and that and whatever to emulate Mario 64 ROM hacks. I mean, I got a pretty decent PC. And I also want to address something real quick. Um, someone in the comments of that RTX video I made uh, mentioned that uh, the Minecraft shader pack that I was using wasn't real ray tracing. And you know what? I think you're right. And I want to apologize real quick because I do have a tendency to talk out of my ass sometimes. And I'm sorry about that. But I think what happened was I just kind of downloaded the shader pack. I looked up ray tracing for Java version or whatever. And I was like, this is pretty, this is good enough. But I think that, I think that that particular shader pack can just run on anything that has like a half decent GPU. And what's more is I started trying to do the, uh, actual ray tracing for the, uh, bedrock version of Minecraft. And... Man, I am unimpressed. It runs like crap. Like, if I if I lower the frame rate to 30 frames a second, then it feels fine, I guess. I'm not a frame rate snob by any means. But one thing that really, 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 really bothers me about that is in certain areas, in certain caves, there's like a cutoff point where the RTX no longer uh, does its thing at a certain distance. Fair enough. Except beyond that distance where the RTX stops working, for some reason it just goes full bright. So it looks like the whole dang cave is lit except for the area you're at. And I might throw a screenshot of that up real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I wanted to clarify something here real quick. I might have been talking out of my ass again. But I swear, th this is the Bedrock Edition with uh, RTX on. And let me get this water source here so I can sort of prove it. This is the actual RTX from the Bedrock Edition. And off in the distance, the fog makes things brighter. And if I get closer to it, then it goes away. But in real time here, I want to try something else. Video. Now, see, I got it at 30 frames because that's the only way it looks right. But let's bring that up to 24 chunks. Which doesn't really seem to be affecting the frame rate any. But at the same time, I got it set to 30. Like I said, I'm no, uh, 
I'm no frame rate snob. And if someone comes around and says, you know, I prefer 30 frames because, like, it feels more cinematic. Good for you. Good for you. And in this particular case... Playing Minecraft with the uh, RTX on. Kinda. Kinda. Let's get out of this cave. My PC's fan isn't even going off. That's interesting. There it goes. I don't know if you can hear that, but there it goes. Eh, yeah. It's a perfectly acceptable way to play Minecraft, I suppose. Got my 3070 here. But anyway, you're watching... You're watching Mario 64. We'll do Minecraft later. Because it's, like... Well, I know, I know ray tracing is like super experimental right now, but, you know, if you're gonna have it as a main feature, if you're gonna have it as like a setting in my, uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience app, or whatever, you, you gotta make sure it looks, it's so simple, you just have to turn it so that everything farther away is just off, like dark, like that's all, but no. Anyway, fuck you. That was so hard. It was such a hard boss battle. Like, seriously. I don't know how I did it. I don't know. Shit. Bear with me, people. I might jump cut here. I don't like doing jump cuts, but I might jump cut here. I forgot to get all the red coins, and I never forget to get all the red coins in this one. We're, you know, we're gonna make it quick. I think the extra lives are actually turned off. Which is fitting, seeing as how this, uh, this ROM hack is purely a power fantasy. extra lives just by going through these Bowser levels over and over again. Look, look, look. And, you know, just a little bit of platforming skill. If you need to life farm while you're playing regular Mario 64, there you go. Just get good at these levels. Oh, 
Okay. All right, now just to rub, to rub salt in the wound here. Yeah, sure, we'll do a rematch. Looks like I won again. Yes, 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 yes. We still got more things to test out, though. Before I move on... shotgun in this one either. But... Let's just get it. I'm trying to get my star points up in romhacking.com anyway, so... This is probably a good way, an easy way to get points. If you don't know, like, you get the parallel launcher, you, uh, set it up, you know, you connect it to your romhacking.com account, and then it, like, hey, where'd this guy go? Fuck you. At least I know I can shoot while swimming. That's important. That is important. What in the world is going on with the sky? Stop that! Stop it! Freaking green screening. Here we go! <laughs> Even underwater, he strikes a pose with a shotgun. There's like... They could have just made it. They could have just made it like a silly little ROM hack joke or whatever, but no, they made sure that the entire game is different because you have a shotgun now. Fuck you, sign. Fuck you, other sign. New camera. I prefer this camera, obviously, to, like, the regular camera. I know it must have been a bitch and a half for, you know, everyone at Nintendo to program a camera that's halfway functional. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Hold on. There's some cheese to be had here. Some delicious, delicious cheese. If it'll aim this far. No, oh, no. I mean, I already cheesed this part enough as it is anyway in a regular game. Because I can make it up here before having to do all the platforming there. But, whatever. Another star down. Alright. We got 10 stars now. We got 11. So... That don't count? 
that does. How fucking terrifying. Just imagine. You're just like a Koopa or a Goomba just kind of minding your own business, running around in Mario Land, doing, doing your thing, when all of a sudden, like a fucking Valkyrie in the sky, comes Mario flying overhead with a motherfucking shotgun. Death from above. <laughs> I am too easily amused and I wouldn't have it any other way. There we go. Alright. I have to at least 100% the first friggin' level. Like, that's just my thing when I play games like this. <laughs> actually, this is super interesting. This is actually very interesting because it's a little look behind, it's a little peek behind the curtain as to how, uh, Koopa the Quick's AI works in this because you knock him off the track you would think that he he was just like on a preset course or something since you can't really fuck with him through any normal means yeah speaking of go it and he jumps but he has uh path tracing if you knock him off his preset course, he tries to find his way back. Actually, I want to make sure he does, because if he gets stuck somewhere, then he won't give you the star. He gets mad at you for using the warp, but shooting him off the course, that's perfectly fine. Hey. Who are you? Oh, no, there he is. Back up! No, I'm winning. Alright. Come on now. Come on now, Slowpoke. spend a little bit of time in bomb on battlefield just to get everything because I I just got it in a collectathon like this I have to at least get everything in the first level shoot to the island in the sky oh shoot you say oh yeah you shoot them to talk to them Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how they, like, get flattened on the wall. That's a nice touch. If you need, like, a trick to get up here, like, every time without fail, just like, yeah, just like that. Just kind of aim it vaguely there and then point it all the way up and you'll land here every time. Just a little tip. This is great. I'm having so much fun with this. 
Alright, the eight red coins, that's also a good place to get the hundred coin. Like, I love this because all the rules of Mario 64 apply, except you have a shotgun. All the platforming, the physics, except you can do that. And also, what made me think to say that in the first place is, hold on. While I show you. Oh, you can just, you can destroy those. But also, you know, if you're having trouble getting the 100 coin star, you can just run around these poles like four times and then they'll... They'll pop out coins. I wonder if the one that's like lowered will still do that. Nope. Guess not. Alright. Coins, coins, coins. Alright. So here's a mistake that I and a lot of other people tend to make is we try and get all the uh, all the coins on the bottom of the level and then when we're done finding all those coins then we try to go up here and get the rest of them and it works it's just a pain in the ass You want to try and get as many of these coins over here as early as possible so that you can save yourself the headache. Right! Hmm. Yeah! Points. And also, the camera, you know, the camera system isn't perfect in this game, obviously, but you can use it to your advantage in some ways if you know what you're doing. If you're flying or swimming, you can look left, right, up, and down. so that at least you have a slight better idea of where you're going and what you're doing. Or you can just do this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. And... And we just need nine more coins anyway. I don't, I don't have to go back up there, I don't think. Boom! Smack you with the butt of my shotgun. Now wouldn't that be a weirdly fitting end to this if Mario died after going on a shotgun rampage to a bubble? Oops. Oh come on, I know how to get up there. I know how to do that. I just... We can do it. We can do it. There we go. Oh. Okay. All right. 
stars everywhere. There's the hundred coin. That's the last one. <laughs> it should should be easy. And then we don't have to go to Bomb on Battlefield anymore. And see hold hold the up C and then you can look down and see where you land. never done it that perfectly before and I wasn't even paying attention I haven't even gone to the basement yet I've already got almost enough well half more than half of what you need to go to the next Bowser let's go to the basement What's more fitting than a shotgun and a haunted house? A tale as old as shotguns and haunted houses. Motherfucking Ash would be proud. The only thing missing is if it was duct tape to his head. No! No, that's the chainsaw. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Still, that would be an interesting game. Mario with a shotgun and a chainsaw for a hand? Come on. These are free ideas for modders, by the way. Have at them. I almost hope you can't shoot the shoot the ghosts. Huh? Not like that you can't. Ah, well, you can shoot the ghosts the same way you can hit them any other way. Ghosts don't die. I just destroyed your corporeal form, that's all. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah? I bet he's going to be a huge challenge for me, isn't he? I shot the door down. Fuck you, piano! I'd have given this ROM hack a 0 out of 10 if you couldn't destroy the piano. Man, I don't know, I just thought, you know, Mario's going to come in here and he's going to jump around and wahoo and stuff. And it's going to be a fun little adventure. But no, he just comes in and starts blasting. I didn't know what to think about it. I didn't know what to do. Continuing on, because we got other levels to do. Yeah. 
Hmm. Usually I do that and just slide down the stairs. You give me a star, right? Don't you? Don't you? No, not that one. Mips, you son of a bitch! I get the feeling that was a bad idea. Hmm. Sorry, Mips, I thought I was just gonna, like, knock you over and then I could get the star from you. I didn't realize you would break reality. Oh, I'm gonna do more than boil the big bully, that's for sure. <laughs> Speaking of bullies... You know what, I'm not even gonna go there because... A little, a little too real, I'm not gonna do that bit. Not in this mod. Yeah? Forget where the metal cap is and no wait no I remember I remember now I do I do remember hi Todd yeah 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 now give me a star thank you thank you very much Swimming beast in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's also where the metal cap is. Uh... Fuck you. How dare you cause damage to me? I don't think that's the way I want to go. That's the only word to describe it. Pure, uncut, unfiltered catharsis. Come here. We don't, we don't want to do, we don't want to invert shit. I just realized that and like, No, I prefer the viewport hack. Now, I want to see something.
Oh, no, no, I know. It's up in that door up there. That's where the metal cap is. I'm gonna be nice to you. Because you're, you're a nice swimming beast. You're a nice not Lapras. Come on, Pokemon came out at around the same time this game did. You cannot tell me that that's not what you thought if you're roughly my age and was playing games. like to save thank you and there we go uh, since I'm in the process of getting all the switches Might as well go this way now. This may just end up being a 100% video. I already know I can. I've done it at least a dozen times in my life with varying versions of Mario 64. The original, the DS version, uh, the Mario 3D All-Stars version, which, by the way, fuck you, Nintendo. <sighs> Damn it, Nintendo, you're hard to love, but you're harder to hate. person camera might actually be useful here. This is one of the trickier ones to get all of the red coins for. Unless you suck at flying, then the uh, wing cap one will be the tricky one. Nope. Nope! Nope! And nope! The B3313 version of this one's even trickier. But the uh, floaty spinny jump sure helps. I will be doing more decades later in the future, by the way. Kinda need that. Like, there are so many amazing ROM hacks for Mario 64. Hold on a second. Well then, sorry for the interruption. That was my friend. And yes, that was the Skype sound. I still use Skype, but only for her. My only friend that I use Skype for for some reason. I don't understand it, but uh, we're kind of uh, trying to figure out like a deal regarding cars. 
We're trying to figure some things out that'll hopefully benefit us both. But anyway, that's personal business. It's time for more Mario. I did get... I got all the caps. And... Shooting Mips is not a good idea. Ha! Gotcha. <laughs> oh, man. Desert level. No. Lava level. Oh, I'm a bully the bullies, all right. <laughs> Believe me. Coins, get the coins, get the coins. We're good. We are good. Well. That was difficult. <laughs> My chair is noisy, I'm sorry. Alright, now desert level. No, I got all the time in the world right now. Might as well see if I can make this 100% run. And, you know, if I have to interrupt it for anything like I did with that Skype call, we can just continue on. I can edit the video. I can splice the videos together. Hmm. I'm doing that wrong. There we go. Come here, you! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think I'm sinking more when I fly. Like, the gun is making Mario slightly heavier. I could be wrong, that's just... That's how it feels. I even told her when I answered the call, I was like, you interrupted my video, hello. Now uh, we, we have the kind of relationship where we give each other shit, it's fine. Half of our conversations are your mama jokes. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 we're sinking. A little bit. Come on, on, there we go. Yeah. Or maybe here's what I'm gonna do with this video. I'm gonna make it so that I beat Bowser and get to the, get to the end first. I'm not gonna beat LJ up the infinite stairs could, but I'm not going to do that. But then maybe in a video after this one, then I'll go back and get the rest of the stars. Or maybe not, you know, that's the thing. 
I really should plan these things out a little bit more ahead of time, but... Part of the fun of this for me is just kind of going with it. It's like, who knows? No! Ah, yes. Extra life that I don't need. <laughs> I continue to be surprised by the things that I can actually shoot. Ah, ah, ah the quicksand. You know, growing up in the 90s, I really thought quicksand would end up being a much bigger problem than it ended up being in my adult life. Now we just need to mod this into other Mario 64 mods, I think. We need to put this in Star Road. We need to put the shotgun into Star Road. Uh, B3313 would be interesting. <laughs> Decades later, the one that I was playing before. Like, you get the idea. Let's just put the shotgun as an available option for every Mario 64 ROM hack. Just go ahead and get this one. Mario's a motherfucking T-1000 packing heat! Okay. All right, not Labrys, come here. If I end up seeing a Did You Know Gaming episode or like 
they end up saying like that's like the prototype for Lapras or something, I wouldn't be surprised. One of the slightly more annoying stars to get if you're not all that great at platforming. Of course, with a shotgun effectively being a double jump, makes things a little bit easier. Just want to go up here and get to this elevator where the shotgun will be slightly less useful I guess still useful though Some of like those uh, bone pads that a lot of YouTubers use for like acoustics. You know the ones. I ain't too worried about it at the moment. I'm just happy to have a setup that I can make videos like this decently enough. And hopefully. The quality of my audio is a whole lot less, uh, offensive than it was before. Not like, you know, racial slurs offensive, but like grating to listen to on the ears. My own voice, I can't do anything about that. Sorry. If you don't like it, I, I could try and do an accent for you. You don't want that, though. <laughs> Ride big booze merry-go-round, huh? This is too much fun. If you're ever like annoyed at like, you know, big budget video games and all that, and it's like, oh, it's the same freaking thing over and over. Yeah, better graphics, I suppose, but man, I might as well just go play Fallout 3 at this point since every game is like an open world kind of thing. I mean, that's not 100% true, but like... What I'm trying to say is, you know... If you're annoyed by like the AAA industry and like their bullshit... ROM hacks. 
And there, there's like a shit ton of like free games. Just look at itch.io, itch.io, anything. There are so many amazing free games for PC. You don't even need like a ridiculous gaming PC. You have any computer at all. You could have like a 2004 Windows XP machine and there's still more than enough for you. That's, that's one thing I've been wanting to do with my channel, also, is, a uh, sort of... ...bring these things to light, you know? Come here, shark. No! Not today, Whirlpool! Ugh, I keep hitting the wrong trigger. Ah, there we go. Got it. Shoot the button? Yeah, that does work. Bowser number two. I was sort of hoping shooting the heart would do something. I mean, in real life, it sure as hell does something. got his finger firmly planted on that trigger. Ah, come on. There. I wonder if I should bring back the border. Does anyone even care if there's a border in my video or not? All the best YouTubers have borders. Game Grumps got that orange polka dot one. Scott the Waz has blue. Just blue. He made a whole ass video about the blue border. <laughs> Only him. Like, he deserves to get all of the praise that he gets because his videos... You know, he takes the idea of, uh, you know, video reviews for games and stuff, and talks about things that almost no one else ever did. You know, friggin' Wii accessories. Whoa! No! No! Ugh. Well, poop.
Really? Come on, Adam. You're better than this. I've been playing this game since it was brand new. And before they put a shotgun in it. Yeah. Definitely expect more B3313 stuff because I'm sitting here even playing this. I'm thinking, I want to play more of that. I'm at like almost 120 stars in there at the moment. And I'm sorry, like, I don't really want to make videos that are like chronicling me from start to finish 100%. I was doing that. And I figure if I start a new game again, you know, that'll be boring because, you know, everyone's seen the beginning of it by now. But I figure, like, what a lot of people might not have seen is what the game, what happens in the game once you have, like, over a hundred stars, because things, things change. You know, the game's doing that whole personalized cartridge thing. And now there are blue Goombas. Playing a game like this as long as I have, you kind of see through the camera jank. Not always, but I'm in the zone right now. You know, I'm classically trained in these 3D games. I am used. I am used to camera jank. I actually really appreciate that you can't just kill Bowser with a shotgun. You still gotta do it the right way, you just... The shotgun is an extra tool... For getting him to the bombs. Upstairs we go. Shocking arrow legs, huh? You mean these things over here that I don't even have to use when playing regularly? Yeah, sure. Here we go! I am so good at Mario. Top 
Odi Town. Which I believe is that one right there. So much, it's so much fun. So much fun. I highly recommend you play it for yourself. <laughs> Just like in real life, most things are significantly less threatening when you have a gun. I live in the South, so that's our motto. <laughs> Not really. I, I don't own a gun, personally. I don't really see any need to. Mostly because there's plenty of rednecks around here anyway. And as long as you stay on their good side, they'll they'll defend you to they'll defend you to the grave, you know. And most of them aren't even racist anymore. Ain't that something? I was hoping that would work. Alright, the secrets. Gotta remember where they are. Oh. You know what? You're one of the most annoying enemies in the game. You die. You also die. I don't need you. I don't even need you anymore. <laughs> this shotgun double jump really does add a lot. And by that, I mean it makes it, like, stupidly easy. Uh, hmm. I got three out of five. Boom. Isn't it, like, in here? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this might take a while. I think getting the 100 coin ones are a lot easier with this too because you can kill things that you couldn't otherwise. Or if you could, I sure as hell didn't know you could. Like the flippy guys. If there's an actual way to kill those things in the real game, I, I don't know about it. That was four. <laughs> ah! My firepower is better. And that's just... Yeah. Ah! Oh, cool! 100 star! 100 coin star! Nice! Yeah. <laughs> 
And yeah, this, this this makes it like real easy, but so much fun. And if anyone gives you shit for playing like a game on easy mode or whatever, fuck. I mean, not literally, or do it's your life. But I mean, like, you know, you're the one playing the video game. You're the only one who needs to care how you have fun doing it. That's all I gotta say on that matter. Me personally, I like a good challenge. There we go, I thought it was like over there. I just shot it away instead of pushing it away like you're supposed to. Oh, the shotgun double jump. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, next! Killed you. I was sort of hoping you could break that, but like, I guess of course not, right? I can't believe as a kid I used to think that was difficult. That counted. We're gonna do at least one star from every level. At least. Probably more though. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep playing this until I get bored. Then I'm gonna go for Bowser. So, it might be 100%, it might just be, like, bare minimum. Who knows? You do, if you look at the, uh, timestamp of the video and see how far I go in it. Alright, I feel like it's a bad idea to try and shoot this, uh, penguin, but... I was hoping I could make the snowman stop by shooting its face. No! 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 
No. No. I was there too. No, 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 no. Wait, I keep my hat? Huh. The power of the magic shotgun. It keeps my hat on my head, apparently. Is it just me or are the coins like smoother in this one than like the regular game? I mean, there are a lot of uh, ROM hacks that like smooth out the coins. Just interesting that this one seems to do that also. Don't even try that. Take two, or it's, actually it's take three. this time. I fucked it up this time! You know, you caught me. I'm throwing for content. I'm just trying to make this video longer than it needs to be. You got me! I'm actually fucking up now. just like that point where like you fuck up enough in a game and your brain is just like all right we need to chill for like a second because you get like flustered no okay <laughs> shit Fix this mirror. Hard crated vigor. It it looks like words, doesn't it? But cursed. Hard cursed. Vihor. Tell me that doesn't look like. Tell me that doesn't look like words. Minor. Horror Cursed Miner. Alright, moving on. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. 
You know what? You know what? I got a bone to pick with that fucking monkey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ha! <laughs> Too much fun. Oh! I thought I could. Mamma mia! Hey, camera. Hey. Also, you give me a star, don't you? Yes, thought so. Here's an interesting theory for you. You know how these toads like fade in and out? In Ocarina of Time, the Kokiri kids do the same thing. Okay, that's like part of a theory. I'm, I'll, I'll get back to you when I have the rest of it. There's a jumping point of some kind for like a crackpot theory in there somewhere. Are the toads actually the Kokiri kids from Ocarina of Time? <gasps> giant red arrow, giant, uh, giant circle, shocked face in the thumbnail. There we go, million views. The worst part is that's probably right if I did that. Just make up some bullshit and make a... Well? Bye, monkey. Alright. I've learned a long time ago how to not trigger the invisible wall there, but now I know why it works. You're fucking kidding me. That ain't too bad. That is dope. That is absolutely too bad. Oh. I think I am going to have to give myself a little bit of a break, though. Actually just to get my head back in the game. I have discovered that um, my brain can only handle about an hour and a half of a game at a time before, you know, that shit starts happening. Which is why, why my uh, channel hardly has any like marathon videos in it. But I want to do that. I want to do more of that because like, if I'm going to be a gaming YouTube channel, I might as well go all in with it. 
But, you know, through the power of editing, I don't have to marathon a whole ass game. I don't have to put in a catheter just to do a long play. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm going to keep going. But probably after I get the star, I'm going to go make me some coffee. There we go. No, I, I think I can go a little longer. We just need an ocarina of time wrong hack where you run around with a gun. That's not going to work. Usually I enter through the small hole. And then go through the pipe. There's like 12 layers of innuendo I just said there. You can look for it. No! No! Ugh. Anyone- everyone wants to talk about the dang piano being scary, or the Unagi eel being scary in Mario 64. You know what, motherfucker? The big fish that eats you. Just down in one hit. One gulp. That's all. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that went a lot better than it could have. Still, it was very fun, though. I <laughs> uh, forgot about that. Forgot about the gust of wind there. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, fine. Wow. This camera angle really puts it into perspective, too. When I was a kid, running up to this particular picture felt like being in a big-ass movie theater, you know what I mean? There's some perspective fuckery going on, so when you're going up here, and... You don't realize that you're running up to a gigantic picture until you keep going and then it's like, oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, it's getting big. You know what I mean? Of course you know what I mean. But, here we go. It's like using buckshot to kill a fly. Did I just screw myself? Oh good! Oh good. I did not know you could destroy the pipes. I did not know you could just... What the fuck? You can shoot the stars in half. 
and they still count when you collect them. That's amazing. The tip top of the huge island. Yeah, well... Mario. That's not the tip top. <laughs> I did. Well, I spent my entire savings on a fucking gun! Seems to be helping me out in the long run. and do some of these levels. Uh, um, excuse me? There's something in the wall? There's boo! Oh, I see. That room isn't loaded in, but the boo in the door is. Interesting. Got a little boundary break going on here. Oh, big penguin race, huh? <laughs> Cheating? Nah. Just using my available tools to my advantage, that's all. Don't you even. You are better off staying behind. That's all I got to say. Back up! Back up! Back up! Okay, you can go. Yeah, tell me how great I am. I broke your record. Among a few other things. Okay. 
this one's a little bit tricky because it's more than just the slide. And it's not the slide in the building either. Like, that's obvious, but still. You go down here, and... Since this is a red coin one, I might as well get the 100 coin one while I'm at it. Just for the sake of spite. Pure spite. Oh. Huh. I didn't actually think that would kill it. Oh well. Excuse me. I think I see what happened. Yeah, since I shot him, I triggered the dialogue. Hey, 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 hey! Not without me. But, <laughs> but the lift was still moving. It's so much fun when you can break a game like this and figure out how things work in ways that you're not really supposed to. If you ever grew up in the 90s with like a Game Shark or a Game Genie, you know what I'm talking about. Or even like if you grew up with like a Sega Genesis and the classic Sonic games and you figured out like the debug code, that... You know, my my seven-year-old mind was blown when I figured out how to do that. And it really helped me understand how games work when I was a kid. And that's part of why I'm so obsessed with games these days. You know, it's like learning to be a magician. You know, you want to pull back the curtain, you want to see how things work. They say a magician never reveals their secrets, but clearly they do. Or else there'd only be like three of them. What am I? Okay, shoot into the wild blue, which is... 
Again. We're gonna shoot all right. There we go. I'm gonna end up doing more Sonic Adventure stuff eventually. And the reason I thought of saying that, I have to explain myself sometimes. Like, my neurodivergent ass sometimes goes on mental tangents. And there's really not much I can do about it. That's just how my brain works. But the reason why I brought that up was because the red coin stars in Mario 64 sort of kind of remind me of the uh, Knuckles levels in the Sonic Adventure games. You know what I mean? You're going around the level finding things. And I've always liked those, actually. I've, a lot of people don't, but I like, I like the Knuckles levels. Particularly in Sonic Adventure 2. Because, you know, they just give you a chance to run around and explore. And that's also why I like the red coin levels in Mario 64 and any other uh, Mario game that has red coin levels. Sunshine. Does Odyssey have red coins? I think Odyssey handles them differently. It's been quite a while since I've played Odyssey. Like, for real. I made that one video like a couple months, I think? A couple months ago, I think? I made that one video talking about, like, Nintendo taking down the Yuzu emulator. Where I may or may not have been using said Yuzu emulator to uh, capture the footage. But I remembered one thing while making that video is, damn, I need to play through Mario Odyssey again. I do. It, it's hard to think of a game like Mario Odyssey or even more recently a game like Mario Wonder as being like a classic Mario game. And what I mean by that is, like, years from now, years down the line, how are we going to think of these games? Are we going to be using emulators to play them and mod them as much as we do, like, Mario 64, Mario World? Mario World has a shit ton of mods in it. That's another one of those games where you could technically just live off of that game and its mods for the rest of your life. Years and years and years ago when I first played Mario Star Road on an emulator and I I was already used to ROM hacks at that point for like 16-bit stuff but until then I've never played a ROM hack of like a 3D game so that was mind-blowing to me at the time. Can the eel come out and play? I don't think it works the same this time. Yes, it does. But... Oh. Alright then. Here we go. <laughs> mm. 
And that's 50 coins right there. Stars. Coins, stars, rings, whatever. Forwards long jump, not nearly as cool as the backwards one. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. to the cage, huh? <laughs> it still surprises me just how many, like, physics objects in this game have unique interactions to the shotgun. That's just, that's cool. I like that. That's like the difference. I think I broke it. <laughs> no, no, ah, hey, what, what? Excuse me. I broke it, all right. Uh huh. Guys, di guys, I think the castle is about to self-destruct. You guys should get out of here. Break that too. Amazing. Sure, but I didn't even need the shotgun for that. close enough. Nope. So I wanted to get the right coins. I still could, but why make it harder on myself? Oh dang, that involved like no rolling whatsoever. That should be good. The pit in the pit, yep. Yeah. Everything's frozen. Which means the red coins will be very easy to get. And I'm actually afraid to shoot these because I might break them. Oh, oh, whoa, oh! Yep, yeah, see? <laughs> I had to try. I had to at least try. Now I gotta get up. Now I gotta go down from above.
All right, come on, camera. There we go. Yeah. No. Back up. Okay. Can we all agree that that's like the single coolest way to kill an enemy? Backflip into a downward shotgun shot? I think the only thing that would have made that cooler is if he was doing the middle finger the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I'm tempted to keep playing this just to see how many different, like, interactions... ...were added for the shotgun. Pit and the Pendulum sounds like the name of a Disney movie. No, no, no. <sighs> Save. Saved by the shotgun. I don't know, I'm thinking like the fox and the hound dog or something like that, you know? It, ju it just has the same... The same rhythm, the same cadence, I guess. Not cadence. Maybe. It depends. Alright. Another look behind the curtain here. Seeing things that you weren't supposed to be able to see otherwise. Alright, let's get them, get them red coins. Whoa! Hey, that was close. I fumbled the controller there for a second. Yes, please. you could shoot yourself upwards with the shotgun, sort of like uh, the elytras in Minecraft. been too much off. Oh no, we can... There's a cannon over here. We can use this.
Okay. All right. I'm gonna get that. Out of the cloud. Uh, I don't think I can just jump to get that. You know, before I end this video, I need to, like, have at least one good Sky Rampage. Oh. oh okay. The last two are up here. Thanks. I actually didn't want to fly just now, but okay, it's fine. There we go. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of people hate this level. I guess I understand why, but at the same time, like, it is technically the final level, and you do not, you know, if you just want to beat the game, you don't have to touch this level at all. Like, you really don't. And if you want 100% the game, then, well, you know what you're getting yourself into. At least I hope you would. Like, if you plan on 100%ing any game, you should expect it not to be easy. Especially if it's a game with achievements. And especially if it's a game with achievements from, like, the Xbox 360 PS3 era, because those... Those have a tendency to have some dumb... Dumb... Achievements. Some of which you can't even get anymore because you can't go online anymore. I'm gonna try and get a better capture situation for my Xbox and all that, because... I do have more stuff I want to show. I actually have one video I've been saving that I've had made for like a month or so. But I didn't want to release it so close. It, it was a... It is, I should say, a uh, more thorough gameplay video of Castle Miner Z, you know, the indie game. You know, Minecraft with guns. I thought it would be interesting to do about an hour or so video of that, but I didn't want to like upload it so close to all my other Minecraft stuff. I don't want YouTube to think I'm just gonna be like a Minecraft channel. That being said, like I said before, I do have like Minecraft stuff planned. And hopefully it'll be pretty cool. Hopefully it'll be worth watching. Or maybe even just putting on in the background. I won't be talking through that video, that's for sure. 
Yay! No! No! You bastard! I don't... Hmm. I don't think... No, nope, that's it. I don't think... I hardly ever do that. It's a bad habit. Thinking hurts. Now, let's get these red coins in. Since I'm already here. I should have known that shooting that would break it. Since I'm doing that, oh. I missed. Let's just get the star. Amassed in a maze. I like that word, amassed. Actually, this first star is probably the most annoying one in this level for me, anyway. I feel like it's probably a good idea to get the 100 coin star in this one early. Rather than let it become a pain in the ass later. I didn't collect a single one of those. Not even one. That would have been like super helpful too. Hmm. Sort of. 
Hey, oh, just barely. And it's just staying on this one flying carpet. You know, for 1996, a game that can accurately display the entire rainbow, all the Roy G. Bib colors, it's a pretty big deal at the time, I think. PlayStation couldn't do that, I don't think. Super Nintendo might have. Not the Sega Genesis. You know, I might just be talking out my ass again. But certainly, like, you know, the 8-bit systems wouldn't have been able to do anything near... life we don't need. Alright. Wait. That wasn't even that one. It wasn't even the thing I wanted the thing. It wasn't! That gamer fatigue is definitely setting in. about getting these blue coins now. Oh, turn around. Turn around. Get, get, get. Yes! Yes. Yes. This might also be the trickiest level in the game to get the 100 coins. So that's why I want to try and get it out of the way early. more. 
Look, Mama, I'm doing math. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's just the other way. Ooh. Even with the shotgun. Mm. There's a star, yes, and I could go ahead and grab it, but I only need eight more coins left. No! Whoa! Hey! Hey! I should have, I should have figured that would happen. Just so you know, all the noises that I'm making when I'm like trying not to fuck up, that's genuine. I'm not playing it up for the camera. It's just the noises I make when I play a video game. Just imagine the noises I make when I... Never mind. Six more... worry about that ever again until the next time I play Mario 64 with a different mod or just play vanilla but for this run through we ain't gotta worry about it no more okay let's keep going with this level Getting this level out of the way will make the rest of the 100% run a little bit easier. Really, this and the TikTok clock level. Those are the main ones. Like, if you can get all the... If you can get all the stars in those two levels, then everything else should be mostly a breeze for you. Hmm. <laughs> Risky. still got Render 96 on here too, and I was doing kind of a playthrough of that, but I think, I think I have a little more patience now to just sit my ass down and just play it from start to finish. If I can do this, 
Which, granted, the shotgun makes it way easier. But still, I, you know, I consider myself halfway decent at Mario 64. Which one? Tricky Train? Oh, okay, that's the one I was at before. Now, what would be cool, though, is if someone made a level pack specifically for Shotgun Mario. That would be awesome. You! Asshole! Go. There's, there's the triangles. I, hmm. I done fucked it up. Come on now. And it is a little bit annoying having to do this part every single time. It's not really worth being mad at a game that's over... I'm almost 30 years old at this point. 1996? It's 2024 now. Two more years and it'll be 30 years old, I think. I'm old. I do remember when the Nintendo 64 came out, and it really felt like the future. I'm supposed to actually get over there. Like this. <sighs> the way John Miyamoto intended. to a different level we'll just to kind of switch things up a bit and then we'll go back to the mushroom level mystery of the month mm, this is one that i keep forgetting how you're even supposed to do i'll figure it out I know it has like nothing to do with this monkey specifically. Well, there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Scary shrooms. Someone at Nintendo had a bad trip. Oh, 
It's a red coin one, so of course we want to try and get the 100 coin one while we're at it. from here. Ah, I was right. It's an extra life over here. Of which are not being counted because this mod. I love how the names of these stars, especially the red coin ones, only tell you like half the story. It's scary shrooms and also the platforms on the side of the mountain. Just doesn't roll off the tongue as well. So, Oop. you know what? Let's do that while we're doing the slide. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably want to do the slide first. Because there are coins in there that you probably want. Yeah, let's see. Let's get let's get up there. Nope. 
No, no, no. <sighs> That's not even the right wall. It looks like it, but it's actually this wall. Set to Mario Cam. Blue coin. Blue coin. Blue coin. This I want you. Yeah. Definitely a smart decision to do this one first. Except, um... Mario! Mario! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then obviously, you can make it to that star without even doing the slide. You'll do. Yeah. Ah, yes. See you, monkey. Like doing the slide again in yet. Because I'm playing the game, it's my video, I'll do what I want. And I want to slide again. This decision is going to bite me right in my ass. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's that's bad. That's bad thinking. That's stinking thinking. Stay positive. Plus, I know how to do sliders. See? <laughs> there we go! Now that's all of them for that level, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa! The hell is that noise? Good lord, it's one thing when you're playing a mod that's actually supposed to be scary, but when scary shit happens in a game that ain't supposed to be scary, that's... That's where it gets you. That was a horror sound if I've ever heard one. Stomp on the swamp. Okay. I believe there are a handful full of stars in this game that most people never see in their life. Just by playing the game on their own, and I think this might be one of them. Again, could be talking out of my ass here, but I just feel like this is one of them. Oh, 
the heck? Yeah, there we go. Did I get the hundred star, the hundred coin one for this one or not? I don't think I did. Yeah. Oh. No, wait, wait a minute. See. There we go. What's a, what? That's not stomping on the thwomp, but I'll take it anyway. Timed jumps. Yeah. Stop the clock again, because while I'm doing this... Wait for it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get the 100 point star for this one too. dreams in Mario 64 tonight. Does that ever happen to you? Like, when you're playing a game, the same game for a very long time, and then you go to bed and, like, your dreams are inside of that game? I think that's part of what inspired B3313 now that I think about it. That's how I even describe that ROM hack. It's like, it's a dream you would have after playing too much Mario 64. That's how I see it. But hell, hell, I've also dreamed in Tetris before. When you play so much Tetris that you close your eyes and you see falling blocks. I suppose that's true for just about anything that you do for like hours and hours on end. Like if you're freeing a fry cook at McDonald's and you're working eight hours straight doing that, you might end up dreaming about that. Like I used to work at a Hitachi factory. And, you know, if you've ever worked at a factory, you know, like, the loud-ass machines and, like, the beeping noises that a lot of them make, especially when they're, when they have a problem, then eventually, like, 
you start hearing that noise in your dreams. Especially if it's like a warning noise that is like really super annoying and stops progress entirely. And you gotta call maintenance over and it's just not fun for anyone and then that noise just becomes like the harbinger of bad times. And it's usually no one's fault, it's just the machine is like old and the company never bothered to replace them because why would they replace them when the, when the old ones are working just fine and they don't have to spend any extra money even though spending extra money in the long run would actually help the company by increasing productivity but no they don't want to spend the extra amount of money just to make things go and flow a little bit smoother uh-uh no But I digress. That was my factory work rant for the day. That really was just about my only problem with that job, too. Usually factory jobs suck, but if you work with people that you actually like, then any job is significantly better. And thankfully, most of the jobs that I've had, I've worked with people that are, like, pretty cool. Nope! Oh. Well, that's no problem. <laughs> yes, and that's 70 stars, so what do I want to do? Do I want to keep going? Or do I want to beat Bowser already? You know what? We're going for it. And just for the fun of it, We go I did it simple flips would be proud actually there used to be a running joke that simple flips was like everyone's dad at one point I don't I wonder if they still do that I haven't I haven't seen one of his streams in forever Dad, come home. We all miss you. We're all very proud of your Mario 64 career, but please come home. It's Christmas. Boom. This might be one of my favorite Bowser themes in any Mario game. Like, every Mario game has, like, a banger fucking Bowser or Bowser's Castle theme. But this is definitely one of my favorites. No, you bitch. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you done did it now. I'm coming for that ass now. You done let me live. That was your biggest mistake. I 
think after this I'm gonna make me some macaroni and cheese. Boom! I seriously feel like I'm missing a red coin, but I can't for the life of me think of where. Because I'm only at three and this is like halfway through the level. Boom. in any of the Bowser levels. I could be wrong though, I'm gonna look it up after I'm done with this. I do remember where one is that usually, usually I ended up forgetting about until... Back here. I'm supposed to be going this way. Ooh. Damn it. Now when I get the Bowser, we ain't holding back. We're humiliating him. We are absolutely handing him his ass. Got a nice silver platter for it. Gonna wrap it up in a nice little pink bow. Seven. One, two, five, six. Yep. Which? Hmm. Which means I did miss one. And I could have sworn. Hmm. I think I know where it is. I thought it was like over this ledge, like there was a hidden one over that ledge. Or maybe over here? Oh, here! No, 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 no. <gasps> Do you see that save? I just about screwed everything up there. shot them. Hmm. <sighs> no. Yep. 
Yep. Star. Son of a bitch. You and me got beef. Huh. I said we're humiliating you and I meant it! as it turns out. Alright, we're gonna do this the classic way then. Ah! Hmm. Come on, come on, yeah! <laughs> The final blow, I didn't even use the shotgun. That's what I call humiliating. There it is. And that is Shotgun Mario 64. Gotta say, I feel like there was a lesson to be learned. Not sure what that lesson is, but I'll get back to you on that one. I killed her in the intro. It would have been so... No! 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 <laughs> Dan GPTV. You guys are amazing. I can shoot at the camera. I can shoot from the camera. Kill the penguin! Kill the penguin! Kill the penguin! Aww. Shoot the fire out. Shoot the moon. didn't even bother to go pick on the wiggler. <laughs> shark! Ha! I got the shark. Got the manta ray. Boom! Gotcha. <sighs> well, this is just fantastic. Boom! Boom! Fuck that mushroom in particular. <laughs> you gotta love when a game gives you something to do during the credits. Speaking of credits... They're, they're not there. 
they're not even there. <laughs> I can just hold the button. Boom, 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 boom. Bye. Is in screen any different? <laughs> Thank you so much for playing in my game. Oh, that's amazing. He's got a little shotgun. Uh GPT you you did well. You did well. This was amazing. I will be finishing it. Maybe not on camera, but I will be finishing and getting those 120 stars. The uh the thank you message is cut off there. It looks like it's saying something. Why is it zoomed in like that? I don't know. Oh well. Anyway, uh thank you for watching. And thank you for putting up with my bullshit. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will enjoy many more videos to come. And also uh my voice cracks. Those are nice, aren't they? <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. Seriously.